Okay, uh, so simultaneous equations, best thing to do is write these out as we would normally see them. So 4a plus 3 bananas. Um, I'm going to change this to 250p. I think that might be easier in a bit. And we've got 3 apples plus 4 bananas is 240p. Um, so we need to match up. I'm going to match up my b. So I need to times this one by 4 this one by three, um, that's going to give me uh, two new equations. So 16 A's plus 12 B's is now 1000 P, and this one by three is nine apples plus four times three, there's my 12 bananas. I'm just gonna double check this one. Uh, 240 times three, 620. Okay, and now we've got them matched up. We need to subtract them and that's going to get rid of my bananas. So we've got seven apples. The bananas disappear and we've got 1,000 take away 720 is 280p. So one apple, divide that by seven, must have been 40p. So we know that down here, we can now put in one apple equals 40p. Okay, now have a look at the uh, banana so we can pick any of these i'm going to pick the uh, four apples plus three bananas is two pound fifty or 250p but we now know that one apple is 40p so four apples is going to be 160p plus three bananas is 250p okay so using that information from earlier take away my 160 Use my calculator just to make sure. 250 take away 160 is 90p. So one banana must have been 30p. Okay. So set them up, balance the bananas, subtract, and once you found one, go away and find the other. And that'd be five marks. Okay, question 21. Uh, looks like this. Uh, I'm going to draw a Venn diagram for this, so, so my two circles, this will make it much easier, oops, and this is going to represent A, which are even numbers, and this circle is going to represent B, which are multiples of 6. Now, we're only interested, this is called a universal set, so we're not interested in all the even numbers and all the multiples of 3, we're only interested in numbers 1 to 10. Okay, so uh, if we think of the numbers that can go in the middle that are even and multiples of three, that's going to be six. Uh, and then we can start to think of even numbers two, four, six, we've already got eight and ten. And then multiples of three, that's going to be three, six, we've already got nine, and that's that. Uh, which leaves some that are neither, so we've got these go on the outside. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, and seven. Okay. Now it's going to be much easier. So if we list the members of, of set B, we can go to the circle or we can actually go, go to the question, which is going to be 3, 6, and 9. Okay, now this sign, this means the union, and that means all the numbers inside the two circles. So we've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 3, and 9 doesn't matter if you write these in order really I should have put these in order but it doesn't matter so that's all the numbers in the circles in the three different sections now this this is called the intersection and this is just the bit in the middle so this is bit here uh, the middle circle or the middle kind of overlapping part so that is just the number six okay uh, right for this last bit uh, this means belongs to so this is saying there's a number X and it belongs to B. And this one with the line through mean it doesn't belong. Okay. So X belongs to B. So that means X must be in this circle here. It could be three, six or nine, but X doesn't belong to A. Okay, so it doesn't belong. If we can see this six, it belongs to A and B. So if it belongs to B, but it doesn't belong to it, it just must be the numbers 3 or 9. And that's where that question finishes there. Okay, question 22. Let's bring it down a minute. 
Okay, so this is a reverse percentage. So as we can see, the price has been uh, the price of the car has been reduced by 25% and it's now 7,200. Now what you mustn't do, you mustn't work out 25% and add it on. Um, that's not the correct way. So a couple of ways to do this. Um, if it's had 25% taken off it, we know that 75% of the value is worth 7,200. And we can use this fact to go and work out 100%. So... I'm going to divide this by 3 and I get 25% and I've got my calculator so 7200 divided by 3 is 2400 uh, and then we're going to times this by 4 and I get 100% which will be the original so it must have been £9,600 ok that's one way to do it the other way is you can think of the multiplier for a 25% decrease. So if we think about 100, take away 25 is the 75%, but we want the multiplier. We want that as 0 0.75. Now the quickest way to do all these is take the value and divide it by that multiplier. Okay, and we should. get the 9,600. Okay, so two ways. Set it up as what percentage being reduced and work back to 100, or find the decimal multiplier for what percentage and then just divide by that. And that would be your three marks, 9,600 pound. Down there. Okay. Okay, last question. Um, tested a coin to see if it was biased, to see if it was fair or not. They each threw the coin a number of times and their first question is, which one of these people will have the best estimate? Well, it will be Liz um, because she's done the most amount of trials. She's thrown it the most. So Liz, because she has done the most trials. Okay, she the more you do it, the more accurate it's going to be. And said, so using all the results, work out an estimate for the probability that the next will be head. So we need to see how many of these have been head. So we need this total, 12 plus 34 plus 57. So it's got heads 103 times out of, um, well, tails is 28 plus 66 plus 204. 28 plus 66 plus 243. So there's been 330 entails. Um, so total will be 103 plus 337, which is 440. And we want the probability of heads. So it's going to be heads will be... Uh, 103 out of 440 or we could put that as 0 0.23 and I've rounded that okay so I think we best stick with our fraction okay and there we go sorry it was off there a bit 